All right, so let's move on from her head for now, and let's uh, let's go back to the jacket. And I think I want to add some fur to these big uh, like these big collar pieces here. So let's do that next. So have an image ready for that, of course. So I got this coat with like a big furry collar here, and I'm gonna take this fur from this coat and put it on ours. So I'm gonna start just by doing a very rough path that sort of generally follows where the fur is. All right, so, so next I'm gonna select where the fur overlaps the, uh, the coat. So like right there, and I'm gonna add to that like right there to the edge. So I'm gonna copy that and paste that. So let's go to our channels and see where our the most contrast. Looks like green. So let's pump up that contrast even more. Make all those darks even darker. And dodge. And we're gonna make those lights to make those lights lighter. All right, that should be good. So let's select that. All right, so now we get the bottom of our fur. And maybe do a color overlay on that, like a lighten. Let's go to lighten and take a sample out of here. That was good. All right, so now we need to get the top part of the fur. The, uh, the part where the fur is against the white. So now we'll just select that separately. Like that section and, and that section. Go to our channels again. Find our contrast. Let's uh, let's, let's try blue. And turn that all the way up. And that's probably good as is. So let's select that. And select the inverse. Copy that. And paste that. And now with all those combined, we should have all of our fur isolated. And it looks like we did a pretty good job. We got most of it. There's a little piece here that's missing, but that's not a big deal. Let's uh, let's merge all of those. Let's just uh, clone stamp that to get rid of that gap. There we go. Let's just copy that. And... Put all that head stuff in its own group. Just call it head. Call it head stuff. Why not? And let's paste in our fur. Now right now our fur is in like one big chunk, but... We're gonna need it separate, because our, uh, our two collar pieces are separate. And uh, I think I'm just gonna 
make a path in between and cut them apart. So let's scale that down and kind of position it where we want it on the jacket. Do a little warping. And the other one, do the same. Do a little more warping on this one. All right, so yeah, I just think that gives the jacket a little more, a little more interest, a little more detail. 